and welcome back to another video. So today is the first video of 2023. I'm so excited to be filming again. I took like a three week break um, in like December slash the beginning of this month because I just had a lot going on and I needed a little break. I couldn't get it together to get more videos out. I just honestly didn't have the time or the energy, um, but it's the new year. We're back in the groove and I'm going to start putting out regular content again for you guys. Um, maybe sometimes even two videos a week. It's just going to depend. Maybe like a thrifting video and then like a vlog or something like that. Um, but anyways, today's video is just going to be a thrifting video. We're going to go thrifting. I have a couple projects going on that I'm going to look for items for um, some stuff at the business and then some stuff at the house and yeah I mean I think this one's just gonna be a general thrifting video and then the next video I'd like to do would be a thrifting for 2023 home decor trends so that'll be the next video but this is where we're starting today and we're just gonna see what we can find we're gonna go to some Goodwills maybe some rescue missions or restores or something like that um, maybe an antique store too but we'll see what we find Do you think they're still usable? Cool I kind of like that one a lot because it's like Maybe different. Season. You don't have the size like that.
that. Hello everyone, so I am back from thrifting and I'm just going to do the haul for you. Sorry for all the dust flying around. <laughs> it's just a perk of living in an old house, okay? Anyways, let's get into the haul. Um, I'm in a really weird mood today, I don't know why, but anyways, let's do it. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with the slightly smaller things that I got. Everything I got was decor pieces, home decor pieces, some for my house, some for the shop, mostly for Dojo's or Theodore's, our businesses. Um, and so I'm just gonna show you the first couple things that are smaller. So first I found this little set. It is this, I'm sorry the lighting is kind of crazy. It's this little cream pitcher. Um, it doesn't look super old. It might not even be vintage at all, but it might be vintage. I wouldn't be surprised if it were somewhat vintage. Um, and then these two little salt and pepper shakers. Which one is the one that does salt? I think it's the one that has more holes. I'm not sure. But yeah, so like two little salt and pepper shakers and the little um, cream pitcher. And I think for the whole set... I can like scrape that out. I think I paid $3 for the set because I think it was $1 for each thing. So very cute. I'll either use these at home or I will take them to the market at Theodore's and I'll sell them there as a set because I think that'd be pretty cute. So those are the first thing. Other small things that I got, I really, really like this. This is this really pretty antique um, china. I think it's like a china or stoneware maybe. Um, Actually, I don't know what it was originally used for. To me, it would make a great soap dish or like a spoon rest um, or just like a little trinket dish. And maybe that's what it was originally because it's, I love this pattern with the raspberries. And it, I, I feel sure that there's probably like an actual, like this goes with a set of China. So in that case, maybe it was like for butter. I don't really know what it was for. If you guys know, you can let me know, but it doesn't have any markings on the back probably because it was with a larger set of china and typically the larger pieces would have the prints or the stamps on the back um, but this is two dollars from goodwill and i love it i think i'm going to keep this one at home because i like it so much next i thrifted so next i thrifted these two really cute little peach mugs they're matching they're definitely not old I mean maybe they're like a couple years old but they're not like vintage or anything but I just thought they were adorable at first I saw them I thought they were just the blue stripe with the black rim which I really really liked and then I realized they had the little like peach part on it which I still think is very cute um so I got these and they were a dollar each love them next also kind of another small decor piece this candlestick set I love this stoneware tall candlestick set um it says $3 on each one, but I'm pretty sure she only charged me $3 for the set. These are also from Goodwill, and I just love them. I love how tall they are. 
I feel like you don't often find ones like this and they don't have any chips or anything like that. Um, and I'm not sure if they're old. They might be a little bit old, but I like them a lot. You guys are really going to like this one. So I found this really cute um, shell dish. It would make a great soap dish, trinket dish. Once again, I mean, there's so many things you could use it for, but I just loved the shape and I just thought it was super cute. And I typically don't go for stuff like this. It's a little bit more mid-century, but the way that this one was designed took a little bit, looked a little bit like Rococo era kind of like sculptural design to me instead of like sleek. And I really liked that. Um, so I think I'll use this probably in a bathroom because I feel like that's fitting. Oh, and it was $2. Okay, I thrifted this guy, which is just a small little terrine. And I swear to you it had a lid with it. I have no idea what happened to the lid. Um, but it is this ironstone terrine and it does have a stamp on the bottom, which is really cool. It says Independence Ironstone something Japan. And I just think it's really cute. And I love collecting stuff like this, you guys know. And I'm pretty sure that it does have a lid with it. I just don't know where the lid is. So hopefully I'll find that eventually. And I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I want to say it was like two to three dollars. So there's that. Then we're getting closer to like the bigger stuff. Um, so in addition to Goodwill, we also went to a couple antique stores. So I'll show you guys the pieces that we got from the antique stores as well. Because antique stores tend to have much not much higher prices, but I would say significantly higher prices on a lot of the types of things that I thrift. I tend not to get small decor items from antique stores unless I really, really, really like it or unless it's a really, really good price. And the stuff that I got today was both. I liked it and it was also a really decent price. So this little set of two, well, there was three, but I broke one. <laughs> two little teapot guys it's like little teacups but they also have like a little lid i don't know why that is necessarily but there's two of them and it was five dollars for both which i thought was a really good deal they're just so cute and i'm obsessed with this kind of kelly green color right now so i really liked this little set and this is from a local antique store also from that antique store i thrifted actually no i think these are from goodwill um, yeah, I think these are from a good, Goodwill. I thrifted this set of four like pasta dishes or noodle dishes. They have this really cute red and green stripe and then this like tomato, I want to say that's like wheat kind of on them. There's four of them and they're so perfect. They're the perfect size for pasta or soup. So yeah, I thought these were adorable. And I did thrift them from Goodwill and they were $2 each, which is a little steep in my opinion, but not too bad. Not bad enough to keep me from getting them, obviously. Uh, I also thrifted these from Goodwill too. Um, these were a dollar each. It says $2, but they were only a dollar each. And it's this set of four plates. They're like a stoneware. It says Renaissance, Arcadia, something, yeah. And I just, obviously I'm a sucker for anything blue and white. And I really, really liked the tiny, tiny, tiny little, like how small the scale of the pattern was. I really liked that. So four of these guys, very cute. It has like the right tags on it. So I thrifted two jelly molds, two copper jelly molds. This one is definitely an actual antique. Um, it was $5 and it has the little like thing on it so I could hang it in the kitchen, which I think I'll do. Um, that's probably how we'll use it. And you can tell it just looks old because of all the like kind of rustiness and like wear and tear on it. Um, so very cute. And then the other one I got, when I look at them together, I don't like this one as much. It's more of like a pinky color, but I still like it. I really like the shape, um, but I don't enjoy that it's more of a pinky color, but it's still cute. And this one was $4, so. Very cute, and I don't know if this one is old or not. It's probably not. Maybe actually, it might be a little old, but I don't think it's like a crazy antique or anything like that. And then you guys, the best piece that I thrifted, the most amazing thing that I found 
is this incredible basket. Obviously, you guys know I'm obsessed with baskets. This is like the best basket I've ever found. It's freaking massive. It was $18, which I think was not a bad deal. I had to have it. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Look how big it is. I hope you can tell in the um, video how large this is because it's freaking massive. It's so big. I, I think what I'm gonna do with this is I think I'm gonna make it into like a cat bed. I think I'm gonna put like a little cushion or quilt in there and then make it into like a bed for my cats. I don't know, is that weird or is that cute? You tell me. But yeah, this is my favorite thing for sure. For sure, my favorite thing that I thrifted. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more thrifting content, home decor content, all that good stuff, please like the video and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at it's Margot Roth. And yeah, I can't wait to just make a bunch more fun videos in this year, the new year. Yeah, love you all and hope you have a great day. Bye.